Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Wednesday, 10th day of August, 6th day of Av. Here we go. The parochus in the front of the shul, you know, in front of the ark, the Aron Kodesh, where the Torahs are, that will be removed for Tisha B'Av day. One of the reasons we do that is because it's an allusion to what happened in the actual Beis Amikdash temple when it was destroyed. Titus the conqueror, the evil one, he stabbed the parochas, thinking that he was killing the creator. A miracle happened and blood gushed out of the parochas, but that's uh, that was just God's uh, action that he wanted to do to Titus. But us, in commemoration of that, we remove our parochas from the front of our shul. That, that's kind of the closest allusion we have to it in our present day mikdash ma'at, in our little temples, in our shuls. The lighting will also be reduced, and that's to show the sadness of the day. And uh, the phrase in Eicha says, B'machashakim Hashivani, Hashivani, that God placed us in darkness, and because we are placed in darkness on this day, the lighting is reduced in the places where we're like reading Eicha and things like that. Atachon Antanu is recited in your Mar of Shemona Esrei on Matzoi Shabbos on Saturday night. We already told you about two weeks ago that Borei Ma'orei Ha'esh, uh, which we say over a candle at Havdalah time, usually on a Matzoi Shabbos on a Saturday night, will be recited after Marav before Eicha. But that's it. No actual Havdalah will take place on that night. The last Pasuk of each parak of Eicha is read a little bit louder than the rest of the parak was written. Vihi Noam is not recited in our davening on Saturday night, and that's because it was said actually at the establishment of the Beis HaMikdash, and it's like a sore point to be mentioning that on this day, so we so we leave that out and we won't be saying Vihi Noam. Sleeping at night, uh, if you usually sleep with two pillows, it would be good for you to reduce your comfort by sleeping on one pillow. If you usually sleep with one pillow, it would be good to reduce that and to sleep on no pillows. Um, some people actually even put a stone under their head in remembrance of how Yaakov, when he was at the temple site, Yaakov Avinu, he put stones around his head and we want to mark that somehow, you know, and lacking the Beis HaMikdash and all that by placing a stone near our head. Um, so some people actually do that. Uh, no talis and tefillin are worn at Shachris on Tisha B'Av morning. The tefillin are considered a pe'er, a glory, and we can't wear a glorified thing on a sad time like that. We will put them on instead at Mincha, which is a little bit less sad than at Shachris. Talis reminds us of parochas, and the parochas, we already said, has that allusion, you know, to that Tito story, and therefore we won't be wearing our talis at Shachris. Instead, we'll be putting it on at Mincha. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more Papa.